describe the life of a Bills fan in three words? Really effing terrible. Where's Doug Flutie? Painful. Um, it sucks. There's three. Loyal, committed, and you have to be pretty crazy too to be a Bills fan. I feel really bad for Bills, uh, Bills fans because their team has been in the Super Bowl, I think, consecutive, consecutively more than anybody, and they're always losing, and it seems like they're never having a good season. So to keep rooting for them is pretty, a uh, pretty big job. You know, I feel like for the Bills, it's not so much about the actual game as it is like the communal experience of having a group of people that you can identify with and enjoy, even if your team is losing. All they have is spirit by this point. They don't have wins. They don't have really a playoff, a playoff history by this point. So all we really have is some home spirit and some aggressiveness. Energy in Ralph Wilson Stadium is it's been incredible. There's a really big sense of community with the, the Bills fans, something that you don't get in New York City with Jets fans or Giants fans. And uh, being a fan of a team for a city that I'm not from, I had never really felt that community around a football team before. And the Bills have one of the strongest I've ever seen. I went on Christmas Eve to a Bills game, and it was actually a great game. And they played the uh, they played Denver, and we won. It's great. Everyone should go to a Bills game in their life. And the fans around me were pretty nuts. They were just wild. The Bills make me wanna shout. Kick your heels up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Throw your head back and shout. Well, come on now, the Bills are making it happen now. Stand up now, come on and shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout it right now, baby. Say you will. Come on, come on. Say you will. Come on and shout. Say you will. Yeah. Shout. Buffalo's happening now. Shout. We're on the moon now. Shout. The Bills are happening now. Being a Bills fan is pain, it's suffering. Knowing that we should win every game, but we don't. It's heartbreaking. Oh, they're a team of letdowns. I don't think I've ever been proud of the Bills. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. I mean, you go anywhere else, you get heckled for being a Bills fan. Everyone says they suck. Uh, you got to get into a lot of fights. People think you know nothing about football, but you got to love them. I hate watching the Bills play every weekend. It is the worst thing to do. It's the most painful. You get there, you're excited, and then they just blow it. And it's the worst. It is literally every single weekend. It's like torturing yourself over and over again for 14 years. Good letdowns, uh, highs, lows, utter disappointment. We have to watch our team invent new ways to lose, which is actually pretty exciting. Uh, we're very creative. <laughs> we can figure out ways to lose. You would never have imagined we're what was possible. <laughs> Sadly, in the year of 1999, the first, me the first memory I have is the Music City Miracle. Back when the Bills lost the Music City Miracle. Yeah, the Music City Miracle, I was uh, laying on the floor watching it, and I punched the floor and cried until my dad yelled at me because there was people at my house, and he was embarrassed. His son was a baby. Like five years because I was so upset. I mean, living in Buffalo, you got like the Bills, but... I mean, if I moved anywhere else, I'd still like him, but no one else really does, unless you're from the area. Okay, being from Buffalo definitely is the only reason why I'm still a Bills fan, by far. And if I move somewhere else, because it's my home team, I would still support the Bills. Like, I'm always going to support the Bills, obviously, just because if you look at their track record, I think only people from Buffalo really support the Bills by this point, and that's okay, but, you know. I'm from Buffalo. Even if I move, I'll still be from Buffalo. If you're in Buffalo, most likely everyone around you is a Bills fan, so the Bills are on. You better be rooting for the Bills. Before I came to Buffalo, I, I barely heard of the Bills. Like, no one roots for them in New York City. And after I came here, I mean, yeah, you, you're kind of inclined to root for them. Everybody here is a dedicated Bills fan, and, you know, you want to be part of the crowd, too.
Buffalo. There definitely is an obligation because I'm living here, but I have to admit, since coming to Buffalo and living here for almost three years, I've definitely come to appreciate the Bills and understand why everybody has that inherent love for them. I, I can't say I fully get it yet because I'm late to the game, but I, I do think I understand it. Well, it's hard not to like the Bills, kind of a bunch of lovable losers. <laughs> um, and once you're around a bunch of Bills fans, you, you get that sense of community and it's hard to turn away. I think it's impossible to say they'll never win a Super Bowl. I absolutely think they'll win. If we can put a man on the moon, the Bills have a chance to win a Super Bowl. Soon, no. But do I think so? Yes, just because, like, for me to say no, why would I even be a fan?